Oh, that was not happening. <laughs> I, I promised you mistakes and mistakes you shall have. That's right. I was talking. The mic was paused. So, hey, thanks for being here. We have a bunch of people in the room, a lot of chat going on. Uh, I'm Joshua Seth. If you didn't know that, why are you here, right? Uh, so I, well, I don't know what we're going to do, uh, but I promise you it will be fun. I hope you are safe. I hope you have been, been uh, staying healthy and indoors. I have not been anywhere in a very long time. Uh, I'm, I'm living here in Florida at the moment, and uh, the last time I went anywhere was on a, a secret trip to Los Angeles to voice a movie, and we can talk about that in a little bit. But I'll tell you what, I just want to make sure this is all working, especially since we had that little hiccup with the mic, and because I don't know what I'm doing. So, uh, I don't know, put some thumbs up or some ones or something in the comments, and then I will see them here on my screen. Let's, oh my goodness, we have a lot. Oh, I was way at the top. I'm telling you, this is the first time I'm ever using this. And if you want, we can do some motivational stuff and I'll talk about kind of uh, uh, ready, fire, aim, which is what I'm doing. Just jumping in and making things happen. Uh, hey, look at that. Drac Aqua, the leader of the Digi Destin, is here. Thank you, Drac Aqua, for that. I am here. Uh, and. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, for for those of you uh, that might not be familiar with the, the depth and breadth of my work or what I do, I'm I'm basically known for maybe three things. Uh, I I'm the voice of a lot of animated TV shows and movies. Uh, primary among them uh, would be Digimon, and I had a thing. I had a thing so that I can show you. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. I had a, I had like a, I think it's called an overlay. Show overlays window. All right. Where did my overlays window go? It's all gone. Can't believe it. All this stuff that I set up for you guys. Is it really gone? Hmm. Wait a second. All right. I'll go back to that in a second. Let's take a look at um, what you got. What's your, <laughs> some questions and things. What's your favorite Digimon? Says Vampire Lord 1024. What were there 1,200 and 1,023 Vampire Lords before you, and you had to pick that number? That is a quite a lot of Vampire Lords out there. Anyway, what is my favorite Digimon? It's right behind me, right there. Agumon, of course. But man, I had all this stuff set up. Now that is weird that it all disappeared, but I will get it back for you. I promise. Um, I don't know. Stuff's going to come up, and I'm going to just move it around. And we're going to get rid of the countdown clock, and this will get all straightened out. Okay, so, yeah, that's not Digimon, and nobody asked about that. But I'm putting it up anyway because I always say this is the best thing that I ever did. Uh, it is Akira. It's Akira. Uh, I will tell you a story about Akira in a moment, but really I'm just vamping as I rebuild this whole thing that I built an hour ago and I had to buy software and my guess is when I did that, it kicked me off. So let's try this again. There we go. There's the Digimon poster obscuring my face. Everything was all, I promise you guys, this is all lined up, but heck, this is why we are doing this. I'm good at streaming. Yeah, thanks. Uh, <laughs> Drac Aqua says I'm good at streaming. Listen, Drac Aqua and the rest of you, I have never even watched a streaming anything, okay? I'm a man of letters. I sit here writing books and reading books, and mostly they're books for uh, first graders and third graders because I've been homeschooling my kids for a month. So if there are any parents out there, my hat is off to you. As you can see, I'm not wearing a hat. But anywho, uh, I think we could be stuck indoors for a long time. So I want to I wanna start to create a community here and, um, and we'll have a good time. And I know a lot of people out there are lonely, feeling isolated, feeling stressed, um, disconnected. And this is a way that we can, you know, come together and create some sense of community. Uh, however, I really want, oh wait, I thought ahead. I can't believe I did this. I made an, I made a folder 
just for this, just in case. Yes, that's right. That's right. It's a backup folder. Okay, so I think this is going to work. We'll put it in in a second. Um, so when, yeah, it will work. I'm going to get rid of the Digimon thing. We'll come back to it. Let's, let's go in order. All right, so here we go. Hi. <laughs> we'll start over. <laughs> Welcome to my live stream. Um, oh, son of special needs. Knows the pain of having him home school. Yes. Uh, well, uh, kudos to you for doing the right thing. And uh, the kids need us, you know, all the kids out there. Uh, don't mind, <laughs> don't mind them. They are kids. No, I love my kids. It's just, you know, the sanity goes out the window after you've been homeschooling them for a week. It's like, uh, my, my kids are young. They'd never even used a computer before this, just an iPad, uh, playing around, like watching Sonic videos and playing Sonic games. They just, they like Sonic all the time. Why not Digimon? You ask? Yeah, that too. But mostly they like Sonic because that just came out. All right. So, uh, anywho. Oh my goodness, there's so many questions. When am I ever going to get back to the thing? Wait, I'll look at the, we have so many comments. I will get back to that in a second. This is going great, isn't it? I, you can hear me, obviously. You can see me. My real mic that I've ordered is around here somewhere, but the mixer for the mic, the mixer uh, is on back order. And I thought, what the heck? I'm not going to wait for the mixer. We're just going to get started right now. Anyhow, so basically I'm known for three things, uh, being the voice of a lot of, movies and Digimon and Akira and stuff like that. And we could talk about voiceovers and, and all of that in a bit, if you like. Uh, the second thing uh, I'm known for is what I do currently, which or I did until the uh, coronavirus, which is touring all over the world, speaking to organizations about communication and creativity and creative communication. And I've been working on a new program for that, which I will be releasing soon, uh, which has to do with how to release the power of your authentic voice and now that we are all talking heads trapped in zoom rooms and on facebook live and youtube live it's important to know how to play all the notes in our register all the notes in our range so that's what the new topic is going to be about actually if anybody's interested in that put some questions in there let me know in the comments i would be really curious we'll get back to that in a moment too uh, and then while i'm waiting for those comments to come in i wanted to show you quick little one minute video, a little street cred of uh, what I did after I left Hollywood to go on the road and tour with the live show. So this is what I have been doing uh, for the past decade. Welcome to Vegas! Are you ready to get this party started? I am sitting next to mentalist uh, Joshua Seth. Mentalist, best-selling author and world-renowned voice actor. Hello. Next guest describes himself as a psychological illusionist. He claims he can read our minds. Joshua Seth. Eyes open just like that. What's <laughs> happening? <laughs> Your number now. Think of it now. You look genuinely worried then, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> That's remarkable. That is really remarkable. And we're back. So I hope you like that. That's what I left Hollywood to do. I would fly back occasionally to do the Digimon movies, mostly Digimon. And, uh, and the rest of the time I was flying all, the, all over the world. I've uh, been to 40 countries perform for up to 20,000 people at a time. It was a blast. I miss it. I miss it. <laughs> Let's look at some comments, shall we? <laughs> yes. All right. 
Oh, we'll get to that. Look at that. It says, read my mind. Yeah, we will do a little minder. I'll do one trick for you in a bit when we are about uh, to end. Hey, it's Corey, Dr. Van, Corey, Van, 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 Loving the promo work. Thank you, Dr. Corey Van. Uh, forever time. Oh, gosh. Uh, and what what you should have, and I did it. it yeah, I should, you know, I will if I can figure it out. I'm telling you, like, I've never even watched a, look at that. I can move these things around and stuff. Basically, I just, okay, let me, let me, let me level with you here, folks, okay? I had a day without the kids because the ex has them because, you know, it's the weekend. And I thought, well, I'll work on this. And I was starting to look into the software and the setup to do the streaming. And I was texting with some friends, like some magician friends on Facebook basically today to say, how do you do this? Where do you do this? Should it be on YouTube or Facebook or Periscope or whatever Twitch is? I don't know. I'm not 14. And, uh, and they were like, no, do it on YouTube because uh, it's just a variety of technical reasons. And within five minutes, I had posted this. So let's take a little... Sidebar. Sidebar. Uh, motivation. You know, nothing's perfect except nature. Uh, nothing that we ever create is going to be perfect. And the pursuit of excellence is one thing, but the, the perfect can be the enemy of the good, which someone famous once said. You could tell me who if you can remember. Anywho, we don't want the perfect to be the enemy of the good and wait till everything is perfect. So is this the mic that I want? No. Do I want some big honking mic right in the frame? No. Uh, am I happy with the lights back there because the real ones are on back? No. Do I know the software? No. Did I, did I know how, anything about streaming at five o'clock this afternoon? No, I did not. Yet here we are uh, and having a a blast. So it's better to just jump in and learn to swim, uh, sink or swim, if you will, uh, than to, to wait and, and uh, contemplate and get stuck in your head. So whatever it is that you are thinking of doing when you get out of quarantine, think, can you possibly do it while you're in quarantine? If you have any ideas, anything that you uh, want to do, let me know in the comments. Perhaps we can talk about that too. All right. Water break. Stay hydrated. Here in Florida. We've been under a hurricane warning all day. I'm going to roll back a little bit and just take a moment. Let's take a moment. Let's have some music. Just subscribed to Disney Plus, and because I was kind of curious about the Mandalorian, honestly, mm, baby Yoda, and uh, it was really good. It is really good, and I don't really watch television. Uh, I I've been on record about this before, but I have streaming services for the kids. It's just I don't want to get sucked in. People were telling me a few years ago about Game of Thrones. Oh, watch Game of Thrones. You got to watch Game of Thrones. You got to stay culturally relevant. Everybody's watching Game of Thrones. I'm like, is it any good? Well, you got to stick with it. Yeah, but does anything happen? Well, no, nothing happens. Well, then why would I do it? I didn't do it, okay? So no spoilers in case I ever change my mind. Anyway, what's my favorite Disney movie? Well, I mean, I guess I'm going to say Star Wars now that they own Star Wars. Can we say Star Wars as uh, the answer to this comment? I like uh, all the Star Wars, but the Jar Jar Star Wars. Uh, let's see. In Ty's voice, here's another question here. In Ty's voice, which Marvel superhero team would you want the DigiDestined team to team up with and why? Ooh. You know, Avengers or Guardians of the Galaxy. I have to say I haven't watched very many of the Avengers uh, movies, and I know this is an unpopular opinion except with Scorsese, but I find it just a lot of much ado about nothing. Like, there's too many characters. There's too many people running around. Uh, I, I like Iron Man, you know. They could team up with Iron Man. 
I guess, because they're digi, digi destined are all living in a virtual world. And Tony Stark uh, is the master of all things technical. Maybe he could uh, uh, be of a help. So in answer to that question, yes, I think the Digi Destin would be awesome to team up with Iron Man. Uh, oh, and see, see, I'm not the only one that doesn't watch the Marvel stuff. I mean, I do on occasion. I'm more of a Batman guy. I prefer the DC uh, universe, as they say. Let's see. <laughs> Terry Armand is saying, this is going to be awesome. I hope we are living up to your expectations. <laughs> Uh, and I'm still looking. I'm still looking through. I can't believe I'm going to. I'm not ever going to get through all these comments and back to what we were going to do. Uh, uh, well, okay, Digimon will uh, forever be your childhood because you're not going to have another childhood. So if that was your childhood, uh, that's it. No do overs. Make sense? Okay. Uh, lots and lots of. How do people do this? There's so many comments. Let's. And, okay, there's one I can deal with. Yeah. You know what's interesting? All you guys have pictures. Where did it pull the pictures from? Uh, 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 Sarah Kay didn't bring popcorn. Oh, but she brought ice cream. Okay, well, all right, fine. We were going to kick you out for the lack of popcorn, but I guess ice cream's fine. The, the, the point was for it to be a snack. So uh, I guess you're doing all right. There, let's see. We got some. Look, uh, look Look! at that. Chris Yuka is living his best life. <laughs> yes, Chris Yuka. There you go. Uh, <laughs> that's, uh, we can't go anywhere. <laughs> you know, I, I will say this. For as terrible as the, the human toll is, you know, of this virus, there is something to be said about the the tranquility that for those of us that aren't first responders anyway, or afflicted with it, but for the rest of us, there's something to be said for the tranquility of this moment if you choose to look at it that way, and um, the opportunity to slow down, to take a breath, uh, spend more time. Um, if you have family, you know, at home uh, with them, I know my kids are liking this because daddy's home instead of flying around all the time. So, Chris Yuka, if you're enjoying uh, sitting at home uh, with a drink and video games and a little live stream, woo, good for you. That's right. Uh, we have lots of, lots of, lots of comments. And, <laughs> yeah, uh, no, skipping that. Um, okay. Boy, I'm, I'm, I, I'm going to just skip back up to the, I'm going to have to skip some people's here. Um, okay, here's a question. The unknown to you. That's true. You are unknown to me. That is a good name. Are you auditioning for new VA roles, anime and games being so popular these days? I was not. Um, I had a deal uh, to do Digimon, to do a tie on Digimon through Digimon Try, and then uh, just recently announced uh, for this upcoming one that will be released July 7th. I believe it's July 7th. Uh, but no, I have not. Uh, I've not been contacted by anybody else. I'm not reaching out to anybody else. Uh, if this studio setup gets as good as I think it's going to get, I probably could voice stuff from here. But you know, it's like I, it's not high on my radar. The main thing that I'm planning on doing moving forward is teaching other people to tap into their vocal range to become more powerful speakers more confident speakers. It's the primary way we communicate. You know, our voice is how we communicate our personality, our ideas, our value, our sense of self-worth to others. It's what determines whether they connect with us and reciprocate. And that's what I'm going to be showing people how to do. But enough of that me. Let's see what your questions are. Let's see. Ah, the voice of a generation. Thanks. Thank you for making me feel... All right. Um, mm, 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 uh, oh, greetings from Ireland. That's, I couldn't help myself. That was a really bad Irish accent. I was in Cork, Ireland once. Uh, so I, I'm wondering what part of Ireland you are in. It was raining, but it was still beautiful. I saw a crumbly castle 
and uh, didn't have a chance to play golf because it was raining. Let's see. And Chris says, swear if anyone else voices tie, I'll be very upset. Me too. Me too. Let's see. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you, Hebe Dewey. Doing a great job. Honestly, this is not only the first time I'm ever live streaming. It's the first time I'm using the software. Uh, it's the first time I'm using the equipment that I set up, other than to make that announcement about the new Digimon movie the other day. And I don't, I'm don't. i positive I've never even seen a live stream. So uh, any pointers, happy to take them. Let's see. Um, who directed you? Oh, how do you know all this inside stuff, uh, Steven? Who directed you in new Digimon Adventure Last Evolution in Kizuna? Was it Ryan again? It was Ryan again, although I don't think that's his actual last name. All right. Uh, remove. Uh, what was the... Oh, I like this question. Taruna. What was the most emotional part of dubbing Last Kizuna? Well, I can't tell... Look, I don't want to give any spoilers to the people. I will tell you this. Ever since Digimon Try, though... Get you right in the feels. Get you right in the feels. But no spoilers. You're not getting that out of me. But the whole uh, process of going out there was bizarre. Because well, out, Stop. Hold on. Let's take a moment. That probably wasn't the right take a moment noise. Let's take a moment. I don't know. I just, these are just the preloaded sound effects. Anyway, the whole experience of voicing uh, Kizuna was so odd because I was scheduled to voice this movie a little late, I felt. Once it started to become apparent, maybe six weeks ago, well, that we were probably going to have to all stay inside. No, no cities had locked down yet or anything at that point, but I contacted the studio and said, look, if you can clear some studio time, I will fly out there early like tom uh, tomorrow, actually, is what I said. I said, I'll get on a plane tomorrow morning, and then the next day we can be recording. I don't want to wait. And this was, I'm going to say, beginning of March. And, and they said yes. And literally, like within a few minutes, I had booked a flight for the next day. When I, I stayed in a, a hotel that night in Burbank, and by the time I checked into the hotel and went downtown, to get some dinner, they, uh, I think it was Garcetti, had announced that all of Los Angeles was locking down. I did not know this because I had been in transit that very day. And then I went out and it was like a ghost town. Uh, like, a, like I was like, like Will Smith walking around in that zombie movie where suddenly all the shops are closed. It's the middle of the day. There should be cars, there should be people, there should be activity. And there's nothing. And I walked all the, I don't know if you know, anybody knows Burbank, but there's one long, I used to live in Burbank. And uh, down, beautiful downtown Burbank is one long street with lots of shops and restaurants and a couple hotels on one end and a big mall on the other end. And I walked the whole length from the hotel to the mall. Nothing's open. I didn't know what was going on. I, it, it didn't occur to me that it had shut down because nobody had shut down yet. And people were still saying this is a hoax. And, you know, it was obvious that it wasn't, but it, it, not, nobody had done anything about it yet. I go back to the hotel. I'm like, what's going on? They said, yeah, they just shut everything down today. I'm like, where am I going to eat? And I ended up having dinner out of a vending machine. And then the next day I went into the studio to start recording. So, uh, yeah, it was Ryan in answer to your question that kicked this all off. There it is. It was Ryan uh, that recorded me for that. Just like in uh, the Try. The Try movies. Okay. What was... That was kind of the one that we just answered. Ooh, what? I did not know this. I did not know this. Did you know that Akira re-releases in Japanese in IMAX? April 4th. But who's going to go see it? Nobody's going to go see an IMAX. Who's gonna, please don't like go to a theater and sit shoulder to shoulder with people watching some movie. Just stream it for now. Stay alive. And don't drink bleach. That is my public service announcement. Okay. Uh, okay. 
How's the sound, by the way? When I finally scroll down, I would like to know how the sound is because this is a Yeti Blue microphone. Here, check it out. Um, I've had this mic for like 10 years in a drawer and I was so excited to get my nice new condenser mic and there was no mixer with it. So if you know anything about microphones, they need phantom power and I don't have any, so I'm using this mic. So I hope it's okay. Uh, so, let it um, where was this question? Okay, another one addressed to me. If Ty and Agumon could be in DC or Marvel, which would you want them to be in? Hmm. Personally, I like DC. I like the darker world of DC. But to be true to the spirit of the franchise, I think they should be in Marvel. Uh, if, if it were to come down between those two, they would make more sense in that technicolored universe. Uh, all right. So now, uh, <laughs> thank you, Mr. Drac Aqua. Uh, his, Joshua says this is the only dude to stream with a suit, classy or with a K. That's right. Although I will tell you a secret. I am not wearing pants. It's only half a suit. Got to keep it real. That's right. I'm just wearing my PJs. Uh, okay, so now, uh, da, 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 another another question here. We know the Ty voice is deeper in the reboot. If you voice Ty, ah, okay, yeah. You know, I had to make that decision for, now my mic is messed up. All right, uh, I had to make that decision for Try as well. And I, I pitched it closer to my real voice. In, in voice, let's get a little technical for a second, shall we? Why not? We've got the time. And I don't know how much longer I'm going to go, but uh, there's a head voice, there's a chest voice, and then there's a blended voice between the two. When I did the original uh, Digimon, that's in head voice up here. There's no resonance down here in the chest. Um, you know, if you drop, if you drop your voice all the way down like this so that it's resonating uh, through your body, that wouldn't be Thai anymore but i have done other characters like that kind of something more smooth i did uh promos for max x or when i was a promo guy for uh, tower records that was all down lower but your blended voice allows you to have the resonance of the chest and the and the punctuation and the emotion of the head voice and that's in here so in answer to your question where is the question uh i did that that higher voice for ty then a blended voice like this for uh, for try, and then I dropped them down into this more cool range for the new one, for the new movie that is about to come out because uh, he's older now. Wow, Israel as well. We got people on from all over the world. Love you too. Stay safe out there. Uh, the reboot, huh? I had heard... The t for those of you that don't know uh, what the unknown is talking about, um, I had heard that uh, Digimon is going to get a there a uh, a TV reboot, like a series reboot. Nobody's talked to me about that yet. I suppose I could probably do it from here, but as I understand it, everything's on hold now as people uh, try to figure out what the best way is to move forward and how long we're all going to be isolated like this. So no, nobody's talked to me about that yet, but you know doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. The fans, I have to say, have been very supportive of my involvement, which I appreciate because, believe me, if the fans weren't out there on social media saying, nobody but Joshua Seth can voice Ty, if you weren't saying that, uh, that nobody would call. Uh, they, 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 forget, they, just, they, they hire the people that are in front of them. I don't blame them. It's how business works. You, you work with the people that, you, that you're communicating with all the time. And I've been out on tour so that was my choice, and the uh, casualty of it was uh, a lot of voiceover opportunities. But I couldn't both do live touring in theaters and meetings and events all over the world and sit in a recording studio in Hollywood. But now we're all sitting at home, so that's another thing about this. It's weird. I used to feel like, I don't know if you feel this way, but like I used to have a little bit of a, that FOMO, that fear of missing out. It wasn't really a fear, but it was like an awareness. It was a it was a legit uh, awareness that I was missing out because I wasn't in Los Angeles. I still have entertainer friends. 
uh, that live out there and they get opportunities all the time. And I wasn't there because I was on the road uh, eating dinner out of vending machines in hotel rooms in the middle of nowhere because that's the life that I chose. But now nobody's missing out on anything because we're all just doing this. So that's a good thing. Uh, yeah, da, da, da. I do not know what that means. We know why you've got a lot of questions because you're out of childhood. I think, hmm, maybe typo, perhaps, perhaps typo. Uh, ooh, what's this? Uh, oh, uh, somebody says, I have always, I, I'm saying somebody sometimes because I got so many things. If you saw my screen right now, I've got like various microphones and sound effects and there's, it's pretty cool, honestly. And this is the first time I'm ever seeing this and, and there's all these comments on the side. Uh, and then I have like an iPad on the side to make sure that this is still happening. Um, hmm. All right. So, uh, there's lots going on. Anywho, what did she say? Uh, oh, that's why I'm saying like, sometimes I can't see the names, uh, because there's too many things in front of it. I have always wanted to see your live show. You had trouble figuring out when and where they were. Yeah, that's because they're mostly not public because I very rarely would do theater shows. Now, I do have a theater show. I, I know I said I retired the show. Um, that's to force myself to make this commitment to the new speech that I'm doing. But once an entertainer, always an entertainer. There is a theater that had me on the schedule for later this year that had to pull it and we're talking about like a one night only comeback for the show later. Uh, later in the year, if we're able to, once things come back, it would benefit the theater. It would be good to do it. So, you know, fingers crossed that the show isn't retired forever, but I felt the need when I, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, on Facebook and Twitter. And by the way, if you don't follow me on Facebook and Twitter, please do. I post a lot of personal stuff on Facebook. I post a lot of funny stuff, if I do say so myself, on Twitter. For some reason, all the ridiculous stuff that's on Twitter, it just inspires me to, to, to comment back. And I have a lot of funny stuff going on on Twitter that I never put on Facebook. So on Twitter, it's just my name, Joshua Seth or Joshua.Seth or something. And uh, on Facebook, uh, I don't know what it is. Oh, official Joshua Seth, I think, is the is the real one. Official Joshua Seth. And by the way, I don't know if it's asking you to subscribe to the YouTube channel, but please do because now that I know how to do YouTube, my guess is whatever I do in the future is also going to be on YouTube. But anyway, Green Bunny, uh, that's why that you couldn't figure them out because occasionally I do a theater show or a casino, but only very occasionally. In a moment though, I am going to do a trick for you before we conclude this thing. So we'll give it a few more minutes and then uh, I'm going to jump off and let everybody get back to their lives. I think this has been a good first experiment. Let me see if I can just catch up on the questions. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Question, question. It's a did you, what is a feeling on Digimon coming back stronger like in the 90s? Um, everything old is new again. Right? We didn't know in the 90s that there would be streaming services like Hulu and Netflix and places where you can just get it on demand. But because of that, yeah, Digimon has built a bigger and bigger audience every year. And that's why we keep making these movies and reboots and things is because of you guys. Uh, otherwise, it would be lost to the sands of time. There are some things that I have done, uh, work that I was quite proud of, that is kind of hard to find now because it's not on these streaming services but luckily digimon is one that you can you can find here and there and also uh, we never did get back to talking about akira but uh there it is there there it, on on my camera i'm just i'm just waving in the air but you guys probably see it around this thing this poster of akira that that uh the story I always tell about Akira, I'm not going to tell right now. But I do have a story. I'll do that next time. Shebang. All right, because I want to get back to these questions and get through them. Um, yeah, da, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Chris, I did say I retired my show. Um, but I, 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 I'll, I'll find some way to do it at some point. It's really, look, sometimes you got to just draw a line in the sand and say, okay, this phase of my life, is over. This phase of my career is over. And burn the bridges, burn the boats, whatever the saying is, and move forward. And I needed to post that to force myself 
to commit to the new direction, which is the new speech and online program that I'm creating about to how, how to develop the power of your own unique voice. All right. So now we are catching, now we are catching up. Yes. I'm going to read your mind in a second here. Uh, let me just try to, I don't want to leave people out a uh, yoga. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Amanda Ray says she is a yoga teacher and a lot of our training is learning to find and use our authentic voice and find our authentic self. Ah, so thank you. Okay, so for that, uh, just for you, yoga teacher, I will do... Uh, so this is something that you would probably be familiar with in yoga called Ujjayi breath. So how about we conclude by me uh, showing you what Ujjayi breath is and then doing one mind reading trick. Uh, so here we go. Uh, Ujjayi breath. It, it, it means uh, to be victorious. And the idea is everything starts and ends with the breath in life. Our life begins taking a breath and ends, uh, you know, with our last breath and everything in between, your consciousness, your um, energy level, your ability to communicate, it all re relies on the breath. Why communication? Because the words that we speak, the sounds that we make ride forth from our mouths on a cushion of air. And so you guys mostly don't know how to breathe right. And ujjayi breathing is a good way to tap into diaphragmatic breathing, uh, uh, fully engaging your lungs and filling them up with air and giving yourself a lot more energy and power while reducing stress and increasing uh, your efficacy in life. So this is called ujjayi breath. You breathe in through the nose, hold it, and then making a whispered ah sound like a conch shell, you go, you know what I mean by a conch shell? Like when you hold one of those shells from the ocean up to your ear and you hear that sound. You don't want to push it. Just make that gentle sound. You're going to breathe in on a four count, hold for a four, breathe out on an eight. Oh, and one other thing. When you do this, before you do this, before you, this is from the program, okay, but I'll, I'll go into more detail at some other time, but just the, the, the rough sketch of it is take a breath in right now and notice, are you doing that? Do your shoulders go up? Do you hold tension in your shoulders and in your neck? Do you breathe into your chest up here? Or do you breathe in to your diaphragm, which is down there? Your diaphragm is where we should be breathing, and it's where babies breathe. And that's why they can make these uh, loud noises, even though they're so small. And they go, because they breathe in, all the way in, like that. But we would look ridiculous, you know, if we do all the time. So <clears throat> what most people do as they grow up is they forget how to do diaphragmatic full body breathing and instead they take these short shallow little breath like that so when you do ujjayi breath be conscious and aware of keeping your shoulders rolled back and down your chest level and breathing into your stomach as though it were a balloon like this as though you're as though you're filling up the air in a balloon in your stomach we're going to breathe in on a four count through the nose not through the mouth through the nose okay in through the nose hold for four and then out on an eight so here we go. I will demonstrate, and then you will do it with me. In through the nose. Hold. Out through eight, through the mouth. Again, in through the nose. Hold. Out through the mouth. One more time, in through the nose, hold, out through the mouth. Now, say something, even though you're not on mic, say something. You will feel it. You'll feel that it's placed differently. You will feel that you have more energy in your body, that you have more force in the sound that you make. And Amanda says, this breath is so powerful and empowering. Wait, I just jumped and I lost a bunch of stuff. This breath is so powerful and empowering and such a good stress reliever. Thank you, Amanda Ray. I love that you're familiar with and spread this knowledge to your fans. Namaste. Yes. Well, you know, most successful voice actors began in musical theater. It's In fact, the, the, 
the woman that plays Kari in the original Digimon, my younger sister. Uh, she was Annie on Broadway, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I did eight shows a week of Equity Musical Theater uh, from the time I was 8 to 18 with touring Broadway casts, and that's how I got familiar with my instrument. Humans are basically a, a wind instrument, and uh, we have many notes that we can play, but you, just having an instrument doesn't mean that you know how to play it. Just being able to breathe doesn't mean that you're breathing in the way that is most effective uh, for you. But enough about this. We'll do this on another another call. Uh, I just thought I saw that. All right, now I know that I'm going to be skipping a bunch of comments, uh, but let me just see if I can work my way down, and then I promise you, as soon as I get down to the bottom of the comments in a moment, I am going to do one mind-reading trick, and we will be out of here for the night. I hope you are liking it. If you are, give me a bunch of ones or or, or emojis or something. I don't know. Where is this ones coming from? Everybody uh, typing ones uh, all the time. Okay. Should do the stream. I'm thinking about it, Drek Aqua. I'm thinking about it. Um yeah, in Israel. Oh, another person from Israel. Uh, we only get the English dub version. I think there's a place for both the sub and the dub. I mean, uh, they 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 both serve a purpose. But if you're going to go with one, yeah, go with the one that, uh, that I'm in. Sure. Uh, I appreciate that. Um, no, I'm not going to do full-time voice acting, Chris, because uh, I'm not moving back to L.A. Now, if I could do it from here... Uh, yeah, but people would have to uh, hook me up uh, with that because i got other stuff uh, going on. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I, -S -S -I -I Mississippi Comic Con. And that's my answer. Um, okay, Amanda Ray again with the tools for uh, that. Amanda, that is a program that I am working on, so stay tuned. Uh, and uh, please subscribe to this YouTube channel because I will have some powerful uh, teaching videos uh, on all of that in the weeks to come uh, nah, 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 okay the, oh, the music was too loud okay the music was too loud thank you for saying that see i can adjust the music i'm gonna try the music right now episode of the first season of Digimon was really profound and not tonight because this is just going too long but on on maybe on the next one I'm going to read to you guys from this this is the first there we go get it in, in focus this is the first comic book is a vintage comic book uh, Dark Horse Comics from Digimon I signed a bunch of these back in the day, and I'm, I'm planning on reading this to you, at least in part, uh, on a future one of the live streams, maybe on the next live streams. And you'd be surprised the, how um, prescient the writing is. Like, they're talking about climate change and the internet 20 years ago. So in that sense, yeah, that, the, the writing uh, was prophetic in the original uh, Digimon. Thank you for that. Wait a second. Wait a second. What? I got to go back. Rip R.I.P. Iron Man. I told you I haven't watched all the all the movies yet. Spoiler. All right. Now you saved me two hours, I suppose. Ah, and this sort of is in line with that. As someone who doesn't consume much media, what are your suggestions to exercise the mind whilst at home? Dimsy, I, I really appreciate the use of the word whilst. And, uh, you know, I don't know if you're from jolly old England, but because you use the word whilst, I feel um, prevailed upon to speak your answer in an English accent. 
like this. Well, to exercise the mind, you know, uh, long form reading, uh, you know, in this world of 160 character tweets and scrolling of emails and such, we rewire our brains uh, for short consumption and to be able to carry on a long form conversation or to read a book or to engage our minds in focus. I mean, I did write a book on focus, which you can get on Amazon, I mean, well, let's see, Amazon or or where's the book on Audible, if you would like me to read it to you. That's a whole book about focus. Uh, I say reading books, and especially uh, reading them out loud to children, which I enjoy doing uh, to my own. So in answer to your question, I, I tire of that voice myself. I can't imagine what it's like to be you. Uh, I apologize for that. went on a little long. Yeah, yeah. Um, as someone who doesn't consume much media, yeah, exercise the mind uh, by reading, by reading uh, real books, novels, and long form, not always how to stuff, not always uh, in order to gain a skill. Sometimes just you know for pleasure and to and to go into a place of uh, fantasy in your mind that you where you have to sort of paint the picture and imagine things yourself. I just finished reading to my girlfriend of the last two years all three of these books about witches, and now I'm forgetting the names of the book because I'm done with it. Um, these books, Harkness, Harkness wrote these books uh, discovery of witches that was the first one that's right and uh you know she she picked that out by the way that was her suggestion but they were pretty good and so we read i read those to her um out loud doing the characters and to my kids i read the harry potter books so i think we're on book five now i've been doing that for years okay i'm gonna have to skip some of these i apologize for that uh but there's just way too many let's see if we can get i just i just want to point out um, uh, that uh, Miss Wells got hot wings for everyone, so uh, please, you know, pass them around virtually. If you've not had your your hot wing yet, uh, now is your chance. Yes, an Akira shout out. Last I knew, it was on Hulu. You should be able to to access that. About almost exactly a year ago, I went to Edinburgh, Scotland, uh, to talk about Akira, do a Q and A, and introduce the film. Uh, that was a blast. I really, really enjoyed Edinburgh. I would love to go back there someday. They had a whole Akira-themed Comic-Con there as well. Okay, I I have to I have to skip ahead. I just have to. Um, okay, Cody, new service, something you're interested in. I'm I'm going to be releasing this in stages here. It's a speech I've been working on for months that I'm going to be doing uh, virtually. So if you're if you have a company or association that you belong to that is bringing in virtual keynotes and virtual speeches, uh, this speech on how to communicate with confidence and power is something um, that you could pitch uh, to them. Uh, otherwise, uh, there will be there will be little snippets that I'll be releasing here on YouTube in uh, the future. Um, mm -mm -mm. I'm a Dublin, Dublin. Excellent. Um, all over the world. Ashley, you're all over my social media. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Air horn for you. <laughs> all right. Um, okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We've got to slow things down here. Let's see. As a mortician, this is a scary time to stay sane. I have been binge watching all my old favorite shows. Digimon seasons one and two were my first. And then moving on to Disney movies. Wow, I can't even imagine how overwhelmed morticians must be. I wonder where you are, if you can chime in there. Hi, Green Bunny. Where are you located uh, in the world uh, doing that important work that you are doing? Uh, oh, oh, so for the Disney movies, yeah. So I just got Disney Plus for my kids. What a deal, I have to say. Um, I, I'm astounded with how much product is out there and some old some oldies but some goodies as well i even all, like all those little short form pixar movies they're so brilliant thank you for the soundboard i will have a lot more sounds on the soundboard uh in future broadcasts uh this for those of you that came late this is the first time that i'm streaming i have never seen a stream before and three hours ago is when i downloaded the software to do this so so far so good i think um Okay, skipping, skipping, skipping. I just got to skip. I just want to read your mind. I'm going to read a mind because we're going to be out of here before in the next nine minutes, okay? I'm going to be out of here. And yes, that's right. Don't drink bleach. 
public service announcement. Um, da -da -dee, da -da -da -dee. But the effects, effects are too loud. Ho okay, hopefully that was before. I have now lowered the sound effects based on those comments, and that's why I did this, was just to get some feedback. Uh, so thank you for all this. You guys are fantastic, really. That's for you. Um, da -da -dee. And, oh, the entire state of Georgia still likes uh, my hair. Or perhaps Georgia is a person. Yeah, I think probably it's a person. I'll take the state, though. Okay, Glasgow. Ah, I heard that's a that's a, a, a rough and tumble kind of a place. Uh, I've heard some stories about Glasgow, and they all uh, relate to things that occur at two or three o'clock in the morning. Oh, chaos from Xena Saga. Hey, next time I'll bring up. I have the DVD of that, and we'll show you guys, and I will do the voice for you but we don't have time for it right now yes look at that the tetsu person commenting on tetsuo i recognize you from twitter oh please I, I don't know how to do a poll i don't know how to do a poll here but if you could chime in and let me know how did you hear about this where did you did you hear about this on twitter or on facebook ah, i never i never put it out on instagram on twitter or on facebook or on youtube where did you hear of this if you could put something in the comments i would like to review that at the end. Okay, I didn't even see what his question was. Your Tetsuo and Akira was so legit. I'm gonna do it like this because you're wearing sunglasses. I heard that anime series will come out soon. I heard that too. And I wonder if you and Johnny Young Bosch will return as Tetsuo and Kaneda. Would be, would be great to hear you both again. Though. Spelled in the cool way, you know. Though. With the three letters. Um, That would be awesome. I would love to do that. But I have to say I'm a bit skeptical because you know how many times an Akira movie has been announced and then never never materializes, nothing ever happens? Uh, D D DiCaprio was supposed to do it at some point. So many people have, have been involved, uh, supposedly, with Akira projects, reboots, live actions, now a series. So, hey, if, if it is a series and they ask me, uh, yeah, I will, I'm all in. Um, but nobody's reached out mm, to me yet. Oh, this is an interesting. Okay, do I have any? Do I have any fandoms of my own from my own childhood? Uh, I don't know fandoms. You know, there were some things that some funny things mostly that I saw as a kid that I'm waiting mostly waiting to introduce my kids to. One of them I did just show them. You can find it on YouTube. It's a Steve Martin short called the. It's called The Absent-Minded Waiter. It's called, look that up. It's a YouTube short by Steve Martin. Although it wasn't for YouTube, it was a short film called The Absent-Minded Waiter featuring Steve Martin, Terry Garr, and I want to say Buck Henry. Uh, does that count as a fandom from my childhood? I mean, they were. I didn't consume much media in my childhood either. I grew up in sort of a hippie home. We didn't have TV as a kid either. The only time I ever really got exposed to television was when I was in film school at NYU. New York City, baby! air horn <laughs> and uh and i was taking tv writing and comedy uh classes and i had to learn about tv at that time and i didn't watch stuff when i was a kid but i saw somehow i saw that steve martin thing and, and i liked it uh i'm sure i could think of some others if i weren't sc also scrolling through all of these um comments oh gosh i'm one of the most personable approachable celebs oh thank you so much thank you i don't know what to compare that to um I, 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 scrolling 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 Be i'm i'm just i'm just gonna skip all these i gotta skip them i gotta skip them all i gotta have a, skip, a sip of water too we're gonna do mind reading in just a few seconds water break.
All right, I just, I just wanna, I just wanna catch up. This is crazy. This, I wonder how many. I wonder if, if there's a count of all of the con, con of all of the comments that came in. Um, bleep, bleep, bleep. Okay, so the music's over, and that means. What is my favorite book? It's right behind me. It's right behind me. It's right behind me. It's the Digimon. No, I mean it's the uh, it's the Harry Potter series. I love the Harry Potter books. I read all those books and then I've read them all out loud uh, before I had kids and now I'm reading them out loud uh, to my kids as well. And oh, weird. I love the Harry Potter books too. I assume you're talking about Harry Potter mojo and not uh, HP printer books because that would be weird. Okay, um, girlfriend, I thought you were married. <laughs> I used to be, but you know, things change. Yes, um, <laughs> that was that was my favorite moment in this whole in this whole uh, live stream. Okay. All right, I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna just gonna. I, I'm sorry, I can't get to any more of these. I don't know. We're gonna have to do something different about the comments. Uh, next time, I, I, but but we got two minutes left, and I am going to read your mind, 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 mind. All right, on my phone in a minute. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, 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 and I want somebody to raise their hand and say, "Pick me, pick me." All right. And while we're waiting for that, imagine that I have three dice of three different colors. Uh, uh, white, black, and red, and and I and I I want I want to say you take um, mm, 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 mm. so many people said oh there's too many people that I've already jumped on here all right I'm gonna have to pick one mm. okay all right here we go here we go. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's just. Uh, uh, th 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 Tenzin. Tenzin. Okay. Tenzin. I just saw Tenzin. Boom. Okay. Stop. Stop. All right. Now there's just too many. Um. All right. So Tenzin. <laughs> stop with the pick me. There's too many people saying pick me. We're going with Tenzin. Okay. We're going with Tenzin. Tenzin. All right. We have three different dice. Um, a white dice, a white die, a black die, and a red die. Which one should I pick up? I'm gonna pick one up, Tenzin. Which one should I pick up? It's a six-sided die. And Tenzin, Tenzin, where are you? Did you go? She's not saying it. Tenzin, tell me, which dice am I holding in my hand? White, black, or red? No? Okay, uh, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go with this person who, okay, new person because Tenzin's gone. Uh, this person with Hebrew letters. All right, which dice should I pick up? Uh, white, black, or red? Which one? And then I'm going to, I'm going to, Roll it, but you got to tell me which one, which one to do. Oh, there's a delay. Somebody told me about this. There's a 20 second delay. All right. I'll tell you what. If Tenzin is there, tell me. <laughs> Ten... <laughs> yes, there's no Tenzin. All right. The guy with the Hebrew letters. Okay. Drac Aqua. Fine. Said red. Okay. We're starting with red. We're going with that. Somebody just say. Uh, a number from one to six. That's going to be the red dice. We're just going to do this first number that pops up here. The first one. All right. Do red what? Red what? Red, 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 red. Everybody's saying red. I need a number though. And then this is weird. Okay. I'm glad I'm doing this because there is this delay. So, so whatever the first number comes up for red, I'm going to throw it and that's what it will be. Then we have to choose either black or white. So somebody just say black or white and whichever is the first color to come up is okay black there's the black one so we're going to start uh, with red and a number that is oh there's the first one is six so red is going to be six remember that <laughs> then black somebody chose black and the next number that came up was a four okay now the last one is going to be white and i'm going to roll the white die I don't know if this is going to work. <laughs> what number is the white die going to be? And okay, I, finally, because I said I would use you, uh, we will do six. So I believe that will be red, six, black, four, white, six. Okay. 
Red six, black four, white six. Now, <laughs> there's my phone. About six weeks ago, I told you I was in uh, Burbank in Los Angeles, uh, California, voicing the Digimon movie. This is so crazy. I'm not going to forget what we did, what, we, what you guys said. We said, uh, red, I got to write this down, red six, black four, white six. Yeah, okay. All right, so that's what it was. So you can keep track of that on your own. About six weeks ago, uh, I was in Burbank, and I had to stay at a hotel. I told you that whole story before. What I didn't tell you was that I did a little experiment in my hotel room. I remember there was a a black table, and I had some dye, because as a magician and mentalist, I'm always carrying cards and dice and things around to practice with. And I rolled them out in random order, a red dye, a black dye, and a, a white dye. And I took a picture of it right here. I would like to show that to you. But before I do, unlock the phone. I'm hoping you can see this. Yeah, you can see it. There are the uh, photos. I go to my favorite photos. I want to point something out for those of you that have an iPhone. These are these are uh, photos on my phone and they are identified when you click on any one of them. It's mostly my kids, but like you can see it says Tuesday home. Okay, can you see that there? If I take it back, it's more in focus. Tuesday home is my, my baby boy Tiger's eighth birthday tomorrow. Yeah. If you're watching Tiger, all right, and so we have a lot of pictures here. As we scroll back, you can see, oh, there's some barbecue that I was making on the grill, and there is uh, Vincent van Gogh, as though uh, he were living today and unable to put on his mask because of the whole ear thing. I thought that was funny. Anyway, it, it says where I took all of these pictures. Like the, well, Most of them say home, but usually when I'm doing this effect, it says you know different places. There's my kids and their artwork and everything. Eventually, I'm going to get back to one picture of a die. And before I get back there, isn't that cool, uh, of Sonic, I want to remind you, you guys said, I believe, black four, red six, white six. What are the odds? If my picture shows that, it's not one in, it's one in six times six times six or 216 to one against that picture showing that combination. But wait, there's more because then to do the math, you actually have to then do that to the three to the third power because of the colors. It works out to 5,832 to one odds against the picture actually being, uh, boy, this is a while ago. Where is it? That what you said. Did I get it right? White six, black four, red six. And I believe you can see it says March 16th, March 17th. It's taken in March 17th in Los Angeles. And it is the only picture of three die. If you like that, make some noise. That took forever. All right, it's been an hour. It's been fun. Thank you. <laughs> no freaking way. <laughs> and I appreciate all the happy birthdays to my kid there. Yes, that's right. We are going to conclude the live stream now. I thank you. I thank you all for being here. Please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel the Facebook, the Twitter, I'm even on Instagram, and I promise we will be doing more in uh, the future. Let me, let me go out in style here. Let's see. Bye-bye, everybody.